Uh, uh, hold up. Let me see those hands again. Who didn't talk in their group? Okay, next week we got to make sure, okay? All facilitators, remember those, those hands, and we're going to make sure, okay? Your, your, your contributions are needed and they're necessary. Uh, now, obviously, I had the best group, so I'm, I'm not even worried about that. Group one is, that's why they called us number one. You know, so it's really good. But here's what we're going to do is um, I pray this was beneficial to you, and we're going to continue to build on it. I know in our group it was really cool. We had a couple of people who said, I've never prayed for anybody before. And so we prayed. Uh, one lady was like, I can't remember that lady's name in the Bible. Uh, the, I just can't, I, I'm just not, I, I just can't remember her name in the Bible. It was the woman with the issue of blood, and they never said her name. So she didn't have a name, you know. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. And she's a theologian and didn't even know her. She, she didn't know the lady's name like we didn't know. So, so it was really great. And that's what I want our time to be. We're doing this together on purpose, okay. Uh, remember I talked about we can go to church together and never really engage we're doing this on purpose. And I know next week you're going to find something or something will find you to make you busy, okay? I know next week it'll be harder for you to get here. Uh, I know next week, you know, you're going to have something that, oh, my goodness, it came up. Uh, but let's, let's make this a priority. I believe as we continue to step further and further and further with God through this lesson, he's going to transform some things in our life. What I love about this is that everything John Bevere talks about, he backs it up with the Bible. Everything. He backs it up with the Bible. And so if we take issue, we'll take issue with what the Bible says. And uh, you can wrestle with God all you want. But he's going to win. Okay? And so uh, we want to close in prayer. And we've given you these things. He, he's given us these. These are called our declarations. And so these are the things that as you go through the week and you think about it, you think about what either what kryptonite is, what it is in the church, or what do you feel like it is in your life. Uh, I know the people in our group, we talked a lot about fear. We talked about some things that we're very passionate about, but we're afraid of what we look like if we fail or if we step out in faith. What will that look like? Some of us are like, well, I just don't know much about God. And, uh, and so it, it, these are all of the things that stop us, okay? And so because of that, you have to have something combat the things that are trying to keep you away, okay, or trying to keep you from trusting or believing or seeing, okay? You have to have something to combat that. And so I want to read some of these to you really fast. Um, and so these are declarations. I want you to hold on to these for the next two weeks. And when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed at night, read these things. And over the course of time, you're not just going to read them, you're going to say them. And then after you say them, you're going to believe them. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to proclaim them. When you proclaim them, you're not just reading it. You're speaking it into existence. Okay? And so if we want to see supernatural things take place, we have to speak them into existence. Okay? And so let's look at this. We talked about the nature of God and how great God is and that we are his children. And if we are his children, then we should share the qualities and the traits that he has. So remember this about yourself. If you hear him say it about him, it can possibly happen through you. The nature of God resides in me. Everybody, let's say that again. The nature of God resides in me. Okay? You have to say that when you wake up in the morning. You have to say that when you're going through a difficult situation. You have to say that when you wake up tomorrow and you get that paycheck and you feel like, man, I'm not going to be able to make it. Okay? You have to still understand that the quality and the nature of God can reside in you. And if he's a miracle-working God, he can work miracles in your life and the things that you're going through. It says, and because of his glory and excellence, he has given us. So who has he given it to? Us. Here's what he's given us. Great and precious promises. Not average and okay. God has given us great and precious promises. You hear me saying this over and over again? Because I'm telling myself. I have to say it over and over again so that I believe it myself. God has given us, God has given you not average promises, great and precious ones. Promises. Not inferences, not suggestions, not happenstance. God has given you promises. God has given us promises, and we have to believe it, okay? So he's given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you. Everybody say you. you. Now say me. me. 
So you see the way you have to do it now? You start looking at it. So these are the promises that enable me to share his divine nature and escape the works of corruption that are caused by human desires. So when we hold on to this, God gives us power to escape the things that hold on to us. Okay? So when you wake up in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, now, this is what you, you know, okay, you stop and get your Starbucks, okay? You go see your barista, barista, whichever one you want to. You say hello and all of that, and that helps you get through the morning. But this right here will help you get through anything you need, okay? So this is why we declare it. This is, so we can do this. We've given it to you. You're married, speak it over your spouse. Your parent, speak it over your children. When it looks like they're abandoned in every one of the promises, you speak the great and precious promises over them, even if they don't want to receive it. So then two weeks they get mad at you and be like, I tried to mess that up, but I couldn't. Okay? So this is, this is the reason why. As he is, so I am in this world. I am a vital part of the body of Christ. Let's re I want you to repeat this one after me. I am a vital part of the body of Christ. Okay, you are the I am. You are a part of the body. Each and every one of you, you are. Nobody else, you. You, you are. God designed and purposed for you to be here in this moment, to be a part so you can do your part. Because if ever you're a part, it's because he has a part for you to play. Okay? So when you go out tomorrow, God, I'm a part of your church. I'm a part of your body. I, all of you all want to be the muscle, but sometimes you need to be the thumb. Because the hand can't do nothing without that one little old funny thumb. And you just don't know how valuable you are until you're no longer there. Now you walk or you try to write without a thumb, okay? just ain't as easy. And you think you're not that valuable, but you are. As a matter of fact, the Bible says God places greater honor on the things that don't seem to be perceived as valuable. You are a vital part. I sanctify myself, which means I set myself or I cleanse myself. I sanctify my life for the sake of those in the world and in, for the sake of those in my world of influence. So literally, I sanctify myself. I try my best to cleanse myself. I try my, my best to be my best. For the sake of others. You know how I say it. People are watching you. Like they will see Jesus through you. So as you wake up in the morning. Let this be the thing that you hold on to. Let this be the thing that you say. Let this be your conversations. Your declaration. And your proclamations to Christ. And then I believe he'll allow you to see it. Amen. Alright can we pray? Can we pray in faith man? Like can we pray and believe God? Can we thank him because he brought us here together? Like, can we really, really know that, yes, somebody else church, it, it may seem like they're doing it better over there, but I'm, I'm banking. I'm, I'm banking everything on y'all. I really am. I think you're that great. I really do. And, and I'm not just saying that. I think you're that great. Not because there's something so special about you, but he's just that great. And you're a child of God. You're a living child of God. You're a witness of Christ. You are the demonstration of the love and the power of God that will be expressed here in this world. You are. And yes, you got to get over your hangovers. And yes, I know you got some problems. And here's what we need to do. We need to allow God to get us through those things so he can get us on to the next thing. Okay? So let's pray. Amen. Father, we thank you so much for this time that we have together. I thank you for Melba and Jerome all the way in Texas right there. I see them. Father, I thank you so much that we come together as people of faith. We are destroying the kryptonite in our lives today. God, we speak against everything that has come against us to weaken us, to neutralize us, to cause us to think that we are incapable. And today, we denounce kryptonite in our lives and we accept our full potential. We accept it, Jesus, and we declare, just as it says, that the nature of God resides in us. This great and awesome power resides in us. 
as he is, so we are in this world. As he is, so we are in Phoenix, Arizona, at our jobs, in our families. As he is, so we are. And we truly are a vital part of your church. Every one of us we are. Every one of us. You may not feel like it, you may not think you are, but God declares that you are a part of his church because he put you here. And lastly, God, we set ourselves apart. We set our lives apart for those who you've called us to influence. God, release your grace and your power on us. We want to walk in your supernatural authority. We declare it, we believe it, and we trust you for it. There will be something different about us because you're just that different. And we thank you, Lord. In your name we pray. Everybody say amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap. All right. Go home.